In this section we'll be going over Finder and Launchpad. Finder is a program that's always running and it's used to find any file or application on your computer. When you first open Finder it will open to a window called All My Files. Personally I'm not really a fan of this view because it shows all of your files across your entire computer which isn't always helpful to, or easy to look at. You can change the default window that Finder shows when you open it by going to Finder's Preferences. You can find preferences of any program by clicking on the name of the program when it's active. So if we click Finder and go to Preferences, we can choose the folder here. You can have it show your documents or your downloads or any folder you want by default. I'll make it uh, the Documents folder. Along the left side of the Finder window are some important shortcuts to folders like your desktop, documents, downloads, and other things like AirDrop, which lets you send files directly to other Macs in the same network. These folders are where some programs will save their files automatically, like things you download from Safari will automatically end up in your Downloads folder, and programs like Word or Pages will save to Documents unless otherwise specified. And if you'd like to keep things organized, these next few steps are pretty useful. I'm going to show you how to create new folders to make filing away documents a little easier. To create a folder, you go up to Finder and click New Folder, or hit Command-Shift-N to create a new folder. When the folder appears, you can start typing right away. And I recommend creating folders uh, that are categories for what you're going to be using the computer for. For example, if you're a student, you can have a math folder. I'll hit Command Shift N and make a science folder, uh, etc. If you're using it for business, you can do folders for invoices, folders for bills, and I'm just hitting Command Shift N to get those folders to pop up. And I can just get creative with it. You know, you can just start to create folders for whatever you're going to be using the computer for. If you see yourself accessing a particular folder pretty often, you can actually drag it to the dock and make a shortcut out of it to get a quick view of the folder. Uh, as an example, I will use the math folder. I'll just drag some files in there. And let's say I drag that to the dock down over here to the right. Uh, when I click on it, it'll show me the files inside of that folder. And if I want to jump to that folder, I can hit open in Finder and it'll open up a new Finder window. With, the, with those files. Unlike Windows, Apple doesn't really want you to store your photos inside of folders inside here. Instead, they want you to use the uh, Photos app here, which contains all of your photos and it allows them to be stored into albums and edited and synced with your iPhone and iPad. The same thing goes for music and movies, which are stored inside of iTunes. We'll go into those apps in later videos. Another important feature of Finder is the different ways to view the files that you're looking at. I'll demonstrate the different views using this document folder full of example files. The first one is the icons view, which is a nice little overview of the items inside of a folder, but the other two are a lot more useful. The details view gives you a lot of information about the files inside of a folder, and it allows you to sort by different categories. So I can sort all of these items by kind, so I can see all the folders, all the pages documents, all the PDFs, etc. By size, by date modified, or in just an alphabetical order. And you can change these categories by right-clicking anywhere on this bar, or a two-finger click on the trackpad if you have that set, and checking off the little categories here on the right. You can also change the amount of space that these categories take up by clicking and dragging on these dividers and it's a little helpful if you actually stretch the finder window open all the way so you can actually add categories like date created if you want um, you can also reorder these categories by just clicking and dragging the whole category over so if you want to see the name, the size, the kind, you can do that so it's pretty neat the next view is the column view which makes it very useful to look inside of folders within folders within folders without losing your view. So as an example, if I click on the math folder, I can see the files inside, but I can also still see the documents folder. And let's say I move, you know, this untitled folder into math 
and I move files into it. I can look at this folder while still looking at the math folder and while still looking at this. So it makes it really useful to drag things from one folder into another folder that are in totally separate locations. So it's pretty cool for exploring folders within folders. I'm in this view a lot by default. This is my favorite way to view my files. And the last view is the cover flow view, which is pretty neat. It gives you the detailed view on the bottom and it gives you a little visual view of your files that you can slide through with two fingers. Or as you click on the files down here in the details view, it gives you example photos along the top. And you can expand the finder window once again, you can make it even bigger. And if you click and drag from the middle, you can make the preview bigger or the file names bigger and you can still sort. So it's a pretty cool view. And speaking of previewing your documents um, from any view, let's go back to detail for example, I can do a single click on a document and just hit the space bar to get a preview of the document without actually having to open it up. And I can even flip through it and when I hit space it'll go back down so it's a lot faster than double clicking on the file and opening it up with pages or Microsoft Word and then closing it so if you're looking for a file you can just click hit space see what it is hit space again and do that over and over to kind of preview the files it's a really quick way to look inside of files and even get like a page overview and then just hit space to close it the next folder I want to explore with you is the Applications folder, and this is where all of your apps live on your computer. Um, all of the apps on the dock are actually just shortcuts to this folder. So if you see an app along the bottom that you don't really care about, like FaceTime, I can click and drag it off the dock and just let go to remove it. And the same can be done if you want to add a app to the dock, I can just click and drag it to the dock and you'll see the other apps move out of the way so I can just drop it in wherever I like and now I can quickly access that app without having to open up Finder and look for it. You'll notice that if I open an app that's not already on the dock it will appear on the dock on the bottom right so let's use the calculator for an example. If I double click it you'll see the calculator app appear on the dock over here and when I close the calculator app it will disappear from the dock so if you ever open an app that you decide that you want it to stay on the dock, you can click and hold on it and go to options and hit keep in dock. So after you close it, then it will stay on the dock and then you can also move it to wherever you want and it'll stay there. So another thing to keep in mind is that whenever you see a black dot underneath the program, that means it's actively running. And some programs, and I'll use Safari as an example, when you open them you'll see the black dot which means it's running and after you just close the window using the red X you'll notice that Safari is still running it has a black dot here and it also still says Safari here at the top of the screen some programs like Safari they need to be closed all the way by quitting the program there's two ways to do that you can go up to the top and click on the name of the program and hit quit or down in the dock you can press and hold and click quit. There are other ways of viewing your applications um, which brings us to Launchpad. If I click Launchpad you'll get this familiar view if you're using an iPhone or an iPad. It shows all of your apps in this uh, icon view and you can use two fingers to kind of slide around the different pages and look at all your apps. When you download a new app from the Mac App Store it'll automatically appear on Launchpad and in your applications folder in Finder. You can actually click and drag these around and reorder them or if you press and hold on one of them they'll all start to shake like that and you can delete any app by pressing the little X on the corner of those apps. There are certain apps like the core Mac OS apps that cannot be deleted but if it has an X you can click it and it will permanently delete it off of your computer. You can click anywhere outside to make them stop shaking and click Launchpad again to get out. And that's it for this section. Next episode we'll be going into mail contacts calendars which are a lot of fun. See you next time.